Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, Dispel the fear of sickness and death. Restore our hope and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, health of the sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. All together we say, I confess to Almighty God, God and to you, you my brothers, brothers and sisters, that, that I have, have greatly sinned. sinned. In, in my thoughts and in my words, in, in what, what I have, have done, done, and in, in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, therefore I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who made the abbot Saint Bernard a man consumed with seal for your house, and a light shining and burning in your church, grant that through his intercession we may be on fire with the same spirit and walk always as children of light. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of the prophet Ezekiel. The angel led me to the gate which faces the east, and there I saw the glory of God of Israel 
coming from the east. I heard a sound like the roaring of many waters, and the earth shone with his glory. The vision was like that which I had seen when he came to destroy the city, and like that which I had seen by the river Kiba. I fell prone as the glory of the Lord entered the table, by way of the gate which faces the east. But Spirit lifted me up and brought me to the inner court. And I saw that the temple was filled with the glory of the Lord. Then I heard someone speaking to me from the temple, while the man stood beside me. The voice said to me, Son of man, this is where my throne shall be. This is where I will set the soles of my feet. Here I will dwell among the children of Israel forever. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The glory of the Lord will dwell in our land. The glory of the Lord will dwell in our land. I will hear what God proclaims, the Lord, for he proclaims peace. Near indeed is his salvation to those who fear him. Glory dwelling in our land. The glory of the Lord will dwell in our land. Kindness and truth shall meet. Justice and peace shall kiss, truth shall spring out of the earth, and justice shall look down from heaven. The glory of the Lord will dwell in our land. The Lord himself will give his benefits. Our land shall yield its success. Justice shall walk before him, and salvation along the way of his steps. The glory of the Lord will dwell in our land. Please stand. You have but one Father in heaven. You have but one Master, the Christ. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A proclamation from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus spoke to the crowds and to his disciples, saying, The scribes and the Pharisees have taken their seat on the chair of Moses. Therefore, do and observe all things whatsoever they tell you, but do not follow their example. For they preach, but they do not practice. They tie up heavy burdens hard to carry and lay them on people's shoulders, but they will not lift a finger to move them. All their works are performed to be seen. They widen their phylacteries and lengthen their tassels, they love places of honor and ba at banquets, seats of honor in synagogues, greetings in marketplaces, and the salutation, Rabbi. As for you, do not be called Rabbi. You have but one teacher, and you are all brothers. Call no one on earth your father. You have but one father in heaven. 
do not be called master. You have but one master, the Christ. The greatest among you must be your servant. Whoever exalts himself will be humbled, but whoever humbles himself will be exalted. My dear brothers and sisters, the good news of our salvation. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Magandang umaga po sa atin lahat. I remember my first experience when I went to SM Mall of Asia at nanood ako for the first time ng IMAX. No? Nakapanood na sa IMAX. No? It's quite an interesting place to be no? dahil yung visual tsaka yung visual tsaka yung audio ay talagang namang mapapa um, wow ka na dadalin ka dun mismo sa scenario no kung saan ang movie no to my surprise pa nga no habang nakasuot ng 3D glasses no napapaganoon ako no parang totoo no yung senses ko ay fully doon no na no na na engaged no kapag pumunta rin tayo for example sa mga theme parks no i am not sure dito sa sa Enchanted Kingdom, may mga rides doon na 4D, no? Hindi lang 2D, kundi 4D. Meron pa nga daw 5D pa nga, eh, no? Na kahit yung motion mo, no? I remember also in the Universal Studio, parang sasakay ka, tapos babalay-balentong ka doon, no? Kahit yung mga apoy, may apoy talaga, no? Kahit may mga splash, no? May splash din, no? At ikaw ay totally 100% in full, entertainment. No? Yun nga lang, alam natin that after that, no, it was just all a show. No? I also remember stories ng mga stand-up comedians no? na may mga episodes din sila wherein magsashow na sana sila pero before the show, no, they receive a text na namatay yung nanay, no? namatay yung tatay, no? Paano yun? Hindi nila makukumpose ang sarili nila dahil because of the sad news. No? Pero with pain, no? um, deep within them, the show must go on. No? They still perform, no? nagpatawa, nag-entertain. No? It was all a show. Palabas. Why am I telling you this, my dear brothers and sisters? In our Christian discipleship, Jesus again is warning us of one of our temptation, the example of the Pharisees and the scribes. They call them what? Hypocrites. And hypocrites, in its root word, they are the ones who give very good show, no? act, no? entertainment. No? Some dino ni Jesus, no? They preach, but they do not practice. They tie up heavy burdens hard to carry and lay them on people's shoulder. No? They widen their phylacteries and lengthen their tassel. No? All their work are performed to be seen. Para lang makita. Para lang magpakitang tao. Pero sabi ni Jesus, no, makinig kayo sa kanila. No? Dahil, they took over the seat of Moses. What does it mean? Yung mga turo nila, tama iyon. No? Yung mga turo nila, nanggaling yun kay Moses. No? Kaya, pakinggan ninyo sila. Pero wag ninyong susundan ang kanilang ehemplo. No? You see, my dear brothers and sisters, no? we all have this kind of temptation. No? Iba yung sinasabi natin sa ginagawa. At usually, yung mga ginagawa natin, ang intensyon natin ay ang magpa labas. Ang magpa, magput o ng show. Magput o ng entertainment. In this Holy Mass, perhaps, we're all encouraged to 
dig in deeper, paano ko ba ginagawa ang aking Christian discipleship? Lahat ba ito ay authentic? Lahat ba ito ay genuine? Lahat ba ito ay real? O baka lahat ay pakitang tao lang? Dahil takot akong mahusgahan. Kaya ang gagawin ko, manghuhusga lang din ako ng ibang tao. Di ba ganun ang mga pareseyo tsaka mga iskriba? Mahilig mag-pinpoint. No? Mahilig mag-point out ng malisa iba. Pero hindi kayang tinan ang sarili. Kaya in the end, kung titingnan natin, kung evaluate natin ang entirety ng kanilang buhay, it is all a what? Show. Public display of entertainment. The reason is to entertain people. We check ourselves. Baka ganun din tayo. We check ourselves. Baka panlabas lang din ang ginagawa natin. Mahilig lang tayong mag dogmatize. Dapat ito, dapat ganyan. Pero hindi naman natin ginagawa. We pray for courage. We pray that we may have this capacity to see ourselves more in order to be authentic, genuine disciple of Jesus. May our lives be not a form of show, no? entertainment. Dahil alam ng Diyos ang kaloob-looban ng ating damdamin. Amen. Please stand. We have one Father in heaven and one teacher, His only Son. Let us come to our Father, praying for all His children on earth. In every prayer, we all say, Our one and only Father, bless us. One only Father, bless us. That those called to the ordinary ministry may be committed and faithful to their sacred duties, let us pray to the Lord, our one and only Father, bless us, that parents and teachers may instruct those under their care through the good example of their lives. Let us pray to the Lord, our one and only Father, bless us, that we may always seek to do what is right and may God's word be a living power influencing our actions. Let us pray to the Lord, our, our one and only Father, Father bless us. us, that we may look with compassion on the old, the lonely, and the sick, and ease their suffering. Let us pray to the Lord, our, our one and only Father, Father bless us, that the dead may receive eternal rest and new life in the kingdom of God. Let us pray to the Lord, our, Our one, one and only, only Father, bless us. God, our Father, we bring before you the needs of those who know you and those who have never heard your name. Grant our petitions through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Please be seated.
Please all stand. Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. We offer to your majesty, O Lord, the sacrament of unity and peace as we celebrate the memorial of the abbot St. Bernard, a man outstanding in word and deed, who strove to bring order and concord to your church through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For in the marvelous confession of your saints, you make your church fruitful with strength ever new and offer us sure signs of your love and that your saving mysteries may be fulfilled. Their great example lends us courage. Their fervent prayers sustain us in all we do. And so, Lord, we all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks as an exaltation we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord God, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the true fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving you thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us mercy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, Saint Bernard, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, our Lord, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. With the Savior's command and form by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. 
thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead, and lead us, us not, not into, into temptation, temptation but, but deliver, deliver us, us from, from evil. evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ has said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you, you take, take away, away the, the sins, sins of, of the world. world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, I am not worthy that you should enter, should enter under, under my, roof, my roof, but only say, but the, only word, say the word, and my soul, and my shall, soul be shall be healed. Act of Spiritual Communion my Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Please stand. Let us pray. May the food we have received, O Lord, as we honor St. Bernard, work its effect in us, so that strengthened by his example and instructed by his teaching, we may be caught up in love for your incarnate word, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass has been offered. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your lives. Thanks be to God. Maria, in the name of.